What's up, everybody? It's Kurt from Triad Hip Hop Podcast. Many of you have heard that we've lost um, John Witherspoon, uh, who is a legend um, in in the in the business of comedy and acting. And um, I've seen a lot of people paying tribute to him, you know, shouting him out, rest in peace, and all that good stuff, but. I just feel deep in my heart that I just need to do something that really, really gives him a little more accreditation and and helps somebody else maybe who who may not be familiar with his full background to know more about him. So I'm just doing this, you know, lost in thought segment because, you know, of course, he uh, just passed away. Uh, They just announced it today. And um, it's really been, you know, real heavy on my heart, man, because he was such a beloved person in the business, you know, in Hollywood, in in comedy, acting, everything. So, you know, I've done a little bit of homework and I just want to read some things about him to help other people further understand just how far back and, and what kind of work this man put in. So... John Witherspoon, born January 27th, 1942, in Detroit, Michigan. Yeah, shout out to Detroit. Um, And he has sadly passed away today, which is uh, October 29th, 2019. Um, He got into business back in the mid-70s. So he, he's been in for quite a while. He starred in such films as Hollywood Shuffle, which is uh, 1987, Boomerang, which was 1992, Vampire in Brooklyn, 1995, Friday, which was 1995, as well as uh, Next Friday. He also appeared, uh, made short appearances in movies such as House Party, Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, that was my favorite part in the house party when he was up in there talking about all them kids. Y'all shut up on that damn noise. The hell is a public enemy, public enema. (laughs) He made uh, an appearance in the Five Heartbeats. He also did TV shows. Uh, He starred in the Wayans Brothers show. Uh, Many remember him from that. You know, and that show would not have been what it was without him. As much as the Wayans brothers were the stars of the show, he was the backbone of that show. I mean, he he really kept that going as long as it did, because without him, I don't think it would have lasted as long. It was a good show in general, but he really, I think, helped that show so much. He was also on the Tracy Morgan show. He was on an older show back in the 70s. This was his first work, a show called Barnaby Jones. And I remember that show. I watched that show when it was in syndication. Um, The Boondocks, everybody knows him from that. You know what I mean? He was on the uh, uh, Adult Swim show Black Jesus. Uh, He also was a regular on the Richard Pryor show back in the 70s and 80s. Uh, He also made small appearances on TV shows such as Martin. If y'all remember that, he played one of Martin's uncles. Um, He made appearances on Good Times, What's Happening, The Incredible Hulk with um, Lou Ferrigno and uh, Bill Bixby. He made appearances on Hill Street Blues. And some of y'all may remember him from The Proud Family. So this man has put in work. And then he also did stand-up comedy. Some of you might remember the stand-up he did just back in 2008. It was called You Got to Coordinate. Coordinate. You got to coordinate. That was his famous line from uh, Boomerang. I loved him in that, man. And it's like he had such a small part in Boomerang, but... It's like even that movie wouldn't have been what it was without him and 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 the lady that played his counterpart, you know. So basically, him and her played David Allen Greer's parents, 
and in the short scene where they come over to visit and it's just this whole shindig you know him trying to introduce them to Halle Berry her character and you know they're old but they still be getting it in sex wise and they go running off to the bathroom and been in there so long and he like you know what the hell what's, what's going on with your parents he like man they ain't there fucking <laughs> so you know, and they come out looking all disheveled and whatnot, fixing their clothes and trying to get right. Myra just trying to get her hair right. <laughs> so, um, you know, it's just one of those things, man. I mean, the little things he do or he did, you know, and they'll still live on in our memories forever because, you know, you can't get rid of what he's done. You know what I mean? He'll be immortalized forever in movies and in comedy but the little things that he did they were so uh you know poignant so pivotal and it's like it made such a huge difference in most of these movies you know what i mean most of these tv shows just the little thing he did on martin you know playing his uncle that was like crazy and acted weird and had this eye patch you know what i mean in house party, you know, just being an angry next door neighbor yelling out the window, shut up all that damn noise. You know what I mean? I mean, the dude was just hilarious, man. I loved it. And and if you go back to his stand up comedy in 2008, he gave you that traditional John Witherspoon, you know, comedy. You know what I mean? He did all the mannerisms, he gave you some of the character references that you love. You know what I mean? He always knew how to deliver and he was he was real. You know what I mean? So I just really, you know, when I think about movies like Boomerang, you know what I mean? When I think about movies like Hollywood Shuffle, when I think about, you know, House Party, you know, you cannot go without thinking about the little parts that he played in there. You know, when you think about Friday, you know what I mean? That's Ice Cube's movie. You know, that's that's that's. Uh, Chris Tucker, you know what I mean? But you cannot think about that movie without thinking of some part that he had in there. You know what I mean? Him in the bathroom with all the spray and stinking up the bathroom and, son, get in here. Come here. Let me talk to you. When he just blowing the bathroom up. You know what I mean? And it's the faces he be making just, you know, just like, yeah, I know it stink, but just come in here anyway, son. <laughs> Man, I mean, he, he was such, and you know that there wouldn't be a lot of comedians out here without him. You know what I mean? You wouldn't have people like Kevin Hart's without him. You know what I mean? You you wouldn't even have Cat Williams. You know what I mean? Even people like Martin Lawrence. You know what I mean? He was probably pivotal in their careers as well. So, you know, I really just want people to understand and know just how far back his legacy goes. And... You know, he did it big for comedy, and, and he's always delivered. Always delivered. And so, you know, I'll never forget you, John Witherspoon. You know, you meant a lot to comedy, and I even learned a lot from you. You know, from just those pivotal moments, like in Friday, when he told his son, you know what I mean? You win some, and you lose some, but you live to fight another day. You know what I mean? Those lines were delivered so brilliantly you know what i mean because he lets you know you know what i mean i'm not only funny but i'm also serious as well you know what i mean i can give you that because i'm genuinely you can tell he's genuinely that type of person that'll drop a gem on you in a heartbeat you know what i mean so i really just you know just i'm a, I'm a nostalgic person so I'm always thinking about people like that who made a big impact in whatever industry they're in. And when I heard about the loss of him earlier this morning, it just tore me up, man. It tore me up. So, you know, the world would not be the same without him. But I'm just glad that we have his blueprint, his footprint and everything that he left behind, his legacy to go off of. And so, you know. Please do your history and understand, you know, just go back and see where this man came from. If you never saw a stand up back in 2008, go back and look for it. It's called You Got to Coordinate. You know what I mean? And and a lot of people didn't even know about that one. You know what I mean? But it was really good. 
and you know we just can't can't have comedy without his name being synonymous with it you know what I mean so John Witherspoon you will be missed and I just wanted to drop that gem on y'all so for Try It Hip Hop Podcast for the Lost in Thought this is your man Kurt and I'll see you on the next go round Yippee!